Do you want to run the GPT-4 all model on your local computer? This is GPT-4 all and you can run it on local computer and I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I show you how to do that, I would like to show you the demo of that local model or the model running on my local computer. So this is the interface. I'm on my terminal and I'm going to ask it a question. So this is GPT-4 all. As you can see, there are a lot of details here. I'm going to ask my cliched question. Tell me a joke about Elon Musk. So when I ask this, it's ideally going to give me a joke about Elon Musk. So I think the seed value is always set. So probably it's repeating the same joke that it has given me before. Once upon a time, Elon Musk was sitting on his couch watching TV when he heard someone knocking at his door. He opened it and there stood an alien from outer space who said to him, I come in peace. To which Elon replied with the following joke, but there is no joke. Let me ask one more question before we move on to the instruction of how to run this. And the instruction would blow your mind because this is one of the ridiculously easy way to run a powerful large language model like GPT-3 powerful large language model on your local machine. Let me ask a question. Give me five American baby boy names. Okay, so I'm asking for five American baby boy names and let's see what it is going to give. Okay, one, Liam, Mason, Noah, Ethan and the fifth one, Jackson or Jackson. So these are some of the most popular baby names in America today. That's really good. So our model works completely fine on the local machine. It's, it's not even M1 Mac. I've got a very old machine and it works completely fine. And as you can see, the token speed is the generation speed is really good. So how did we get here? And that's what is going to be the next part of the video. And the final part of the video, I'm going to show you how to run the same thing on Google Colab, which might be slightly slow because it uses Google Colab CPU, but that's completely fine. So we are going to see two things in this video, how to run this on local machine, your local computer till this point, like to reach this point. Second, how to do the same on Google Colab. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go to this repository. You need to go to this amazing repository, GPT-4 all or GPT-4 all. However you want to read it, you can read it. This is a model that has been trained on query and response, prompt and response pair from GPT-3.5 Turbo. So what they have done is quite cleverly, they have taken the Llama model and instead of using something like Alpaca, what they've done is they've actually taken the prompt from GPT 3.5 and the respective response. So basically they are taking an existing GPT 3.5 model and then using that model to build this open source model based on Llama. It's quite brilliant. I'm not sure if they're going to be sued by open AI, open AI, but for now we have got this model and let's learn how to use it. First thing you need to do is you need to clone this repository and then you need to download the model. Two things you need to do. One, you need to clone the repository. I'll tell you exactly how to do that. And then you need to download the model. To download the model, you have two different ways. One is you can click this link, the direct link, and then you can download the model. Or now they have also added a torrent magnet. This is a four gig file, approximately four gigabytes. So it takes a bit of time to download at least from this server. I'm going to give you one more alternative which is this hugging face, oh, not this one, which is, let me give you the repository. So which is this hugging face link. So there is another hugging face repository where you can actually download this model from. So the model hub has this model. So you have three places from where you can download it. One, you can download this model from this direct link, option one. Option two, you can use torrent to download it. Option three, you can download this directly from this hugging face model hub. So either use any of this method and download the model. It should ideally download this name, GPT for all LoRa quantized dot bin. So this is like a 4.21 gigabytes model downloaded on your local machine. Once you have successfully done that, the next thing is we need to clone this repository, clone whatever that repository GitHub repo that we have got. How to do that? If you are on Windows, open command prompt. If you are on Linux, open your shell. If you are on Mac, do exactly what I do, which is open terminal. 
if you are using terminal or item whichever is fine so on your mac wherever you run the bash script open it on your windows wherever you can run your command prompt run that open that on your linux wherever again you can run your bash script most likely it is shell open that so i'm going to open my terminal in this case i'm going to open my item so i'm going to come out of it i'm going to clear everything so once in fact like let me close it i can close it and then open my item terminal and let me make it bigger bigger and bigger so the first thing that i need to do is i need to load clone this repository how do i clone this repository quite simple go to this repository and copy this code here go click here copy the code and come back here and first decide where do you want to load the model where do you want to place the model so i'm going to go to my um, down i have a folder called py codes inside my my documents so i'm going to go inside that and then paste this okay so i'm going to go down uh, documents and i'm going to go inside my py codes and i'm going to be inside py codes at this point i'm inside py codes and i'm going to say git clone the repository S click cloning it's going to clone the repository so at this point we have successfully cloned this repository which is inside my folder called py codes now i'm going to go inside this repository to show you how does it look i'm going to do open dot so when i do open dot you can actually see that i have this entire repository which is gpt4 all inside this gpt4 all everything is already set up for you except one which is inside this chat we need to load the model the model that you downloaded at the start you need to load the model i have already kept this model somewhere here for me to use so you can see this gpt4 all lora quantized bin so i'm going to take this model and i'm going to go back to my this other folder where i've got the chat folder i'm going to paste this model inside so at this point i have a folder full of gpt4 all and inside that i have a folder called chat and inside that i have pasted this model at this point our basic setup is done so we are inside inside our terminal if you see we are inside this folder called gpt4 all we have successfully pasted the model after downloading it from either of the three location inside this chat folder now the third step is go back to the repository again and you would get the code depending upon the operating system that you have if you are on windows you need to use this one so let me show you if you are on windows you need to use this go to the powershell and paste this if you are on m1 mac apple silicon mac you need to paste this if you are on linux you need to paste this where do you paste this if you are on mac paste it on your terminal or item if you are on windows paste it on your powershell if you are on linux paste it on your shell so i am on intel mac or it's it's applicable for any intel computer and uh, intel mac especially so you can copy this go back to my terminal where i am already inside this folder and just paste it nothing else just paste it so what we are saying is enter into chat and then execute this particular thing so when you do that it is going to do all the setup and then it has entered the chat mode and then it is saying if you press control c you can interject any time if you press return which is enter you can return the control to llama and if you want to submit another line use the slash okay so i'm going to ask the same question that i asked before but maybe girl names okay tell me the most five most popular girl names in usa full stop sometimes it helps a lot in the prompt and then send it and now it's going to generate the five most popular girls names for babies born in america during 2019 were emma olivia sophie eva isabella according to the social security administration ssa let me ask one more question tell me five places to eat in bangalore okay so i've asked five places to eat in bangalore because i live in bangalore so let's see here are five great restaurants you can try out while visiting bangalore first the hummus bar 
it's an israeli restaurant known for delicious hummus and other middle eastern dishes okay they have got creative cocktails option 2 guruji's kitchen a vegetarian i don't want to bore you with three more options but i'm going to stop it here and then i'm going to stop it here again now we have completely come out of this gpt for all which is your chat bot or chat gpt's alternative that runs locally on your computer completely local this option one let's say you don't have powerful machine you don't even have like let's say 8 gb ram it's very difficult for you to run all these things um, even 8 gb would be slightly slower so I, i'm i'm on 32 gig so maybe let's say you do not have powerful machine the second way i'm going to show you is how to run this on google collab thanks to kamendru we have got a google collab that makes it easier like ridiculously super easier for us to use it the only thing that you need to remember is right now this model does not use gpu when you use google collab so it's going to be a little slower than what i just showed you because it's going to use only the cpu but there are like the developer is working on a way to leverage gpu sooner so most likely tomorrow or day after tomorrow we might already have a way how you to how you can run this on gpu If you want to run this on a CPU or Google Collab, all you have to do is go to this repository, which I'll link in the YouTube description. Thanks to Kamendru, it's so easy. Go to this repo and click Open in Collab. All that that's all you have to do. Go to the repo, click Open in Collab. After you click Open in Collab, and you have to first run this first cell. It's going to install all the required items, libraries, download the model. As you can see, it is downloading the model from the Hugging Face model hub that I gave you. and it is also going to install something called collab exterm which is going to help you create an a terminal interface within google collab i'm going to just show you that let's install this it took about as you can see it took about 15 9 seconds like 1 minute for us to do it and then the next thing is after you have done it all you have to do is open and run here percentage the magic command exterm once you run that the next thing you you are going to get is you are going to get something like this the same terminal that we saw on a local computer you are going to get the same here within google collab what you have to do is just literally copy this without the hash make sure you don't copy the hash literally copy this go inside and then paste it once you paste that okay we are already inside um let me run this again to make it easier for you to run the exterm i'm going to copy this to paste it you need to use control shift v if you are on mac command shift v control shift v or command shift v i am going to paste it here my bad as you can see we are here in the content folder we are trying to get inside the chat folder and run that particular command enter it is going to do so if this runs which means you have the model already in the right folder you have everything in the right folder you are executing the right script and it is going to run as you can see how much memory we have got what is the model size and all this information now i'm going to ask the same question again so which is um, give me five names of uh, us like popular girl baby names in the us and as you can see it is still setting it up it's still get, you know booting it up for you i'm going to say tell me five baby name, names in the us i didn't even say girl say so tell me five baby names in the us quite quite a terrible sentence formation but um, yeah i'm recording it at uh, at a very weird time in my time so maybe maybe you'll excuse me for this terrible thing okay so while it is getting generated let me quickly recap what we have learned we have learned that it is ridiculously easy to run the chat gpt's alternative in this case gpt for all gpt for all on your local machine and we learned how to download the model and we learned different ways to download the model we also learned how to clone the repository we learned how to execute on local machine now we are learning how to run the same thing on google collab it's so easy and uh, right now as i said on google collab it uses only the cpu so you can see that bit of delay there it's not as fast as a powerful computer but i think very soon enough you will find it easier to run on gpu like the developer is actually working on it this 
how is this model built like i said it's a, it's a very clever way that they have literally used the prompts and the responses from gpt 3.5 turbo which is the gpt 3.0 chat gpt api that is available and they have trained this model with that okay so here are five popular girl names oh, according to baby center then there is no response oh cool okay let me say list five girl baby names in america send it again it's going to take a couple of minutes but you have an option to see what is happening it's actually working and that's what i wanted to say i wanted to show you also so if you want to appreciate the developer first thing you need to do is go here start the repository i do not know if they have any donations open but make sure you start the repository so big 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 thanks to the team called nomic ai and andre mulier so big thank you and then also kamendru made it really easy to run it on google collab so thank you kamendru and you can see oh we have got the names eva olivia isabella or bella sophie emma um and oh we have got okay i asked for six cool that's my bad 1 2 3 4 5 6 madison and madeline okay we have got seven names so it's brilliant we have got a gpt for all that is actually quite powerful because it's been trained from gpt 3.5 running on google collab for free running on our local machine for free if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this was very straightforward easy tutorial to run gpt chat gpt level gpt4 all model on your local computer see you in another video